This is Journey with Prayer, a prayer journey corresponding to our previous episode of Journey with Care, Summer Speedos, Building Bridges with Kathy. We would all feel challenged in parenting for children without a partner. She recognizes the gift that they are. She truly inspires me. In my continued interactions with this family, I have seen mom's resourcefulness. She even invited me into an opportunity to care for someone in her community who was suffering a tragic loss. We teamed up to provide a couple of meals for them and activate a church nearby to continue that support. I'm humbled as she reminds me that we're all on this journey together. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. 2 Corinthians 1.4, taken from the NLT. Father, we thank you for being our divine comforter, the one who meets us in times of trouble and offers us peace and solace. You've shown us the power of your comforting presence, and we are grateful for the ways you equip us to extend that same comfort to others. Thank you for your wisdom and love, which call us into a community of mutual support and care. Lord, we declare your truth over our lives, that through your comfort, we are empowered to comfort others. And we lift up the inspiring example of those who reach out to support their neighbors in times of need. May their actions serve as a reminder of the impact we can have when we respond to your call to love and serve one another. Let us be vessels of your grace and bearers of your peace in our interactions. Father, open our hearts to recognize the needs around us and deepen our compassion so that we may respond with genuine empathy and timely assistance. We ask for your courage and strength to step into situations where our presence, words, and actions can provide comfort and encouragement. In our acts of kindness, may we reflect your love and extend the peace that surpasses all understanding. We thank you, Lord, for the gift of community and the opportunity to share comfort as we have received it from you. Help us to be faithful stewards of this calling, continually seeking out ways to uplift and support those who are burdened. May our efforts bring glory to your name and foster a spirit of unity and care within our communities and empower us by your spirit to be instruments of your comfort and grace in the lives of those around us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Ask yourself the question, how can I extend the comfort I have received from God to someone in my community this week? As you go through your week, I want to encourage you to take the time to reflect. Meditate on 2 Corinthians 1, 4, and consider how you can embody the principles of offering comfort to others as God has comforted you. And then engage. Reach out to someone you know who may be experiencing a difficult time and offer your support, whether through a kind word, a listening ear, or a simple act of service. And then finally, pray. Pray for the wisdom to recognize opportunities to offer comfort and the courage to act upon them. Pray for those who are going through challenging times, that they may feel the peace and comfort of God's presence. And pray for your own heart to be transformed, becoming more sensitive and responsive to the needs around you. You can check the show notes for these references, prayers, and scriptures, or to find out more about our podcast, head over to journeywithcare.ca slash podcast. I'm Johan, and thanks for praying with me today. 